It was fantastic. Amazing. Love it. Amazing. Fantastic time. Fantastic. Absolutely time. great time. I had a remarkable time tonight. The guest speakers were amazing. Uh, really work towards social equity, both in our communities locally and across the globe. So it was a, it was a great time. It's fantastic listening to the speakers and just being really encouraged and inspired by those in the room. It is a room filled with black excellence, intellect, um, missions, visions, and hopes for the future. The George Sally testimony at the end, I just, is actually just so inspiring. And just the fact that he's been doing that walk for 58 years. Gentlemen from the Pettis Bridge, it's real living history, so it was, it was uh, my favorite part. Yeah, more bridges to cross. Yeah. <laughs> I think our favorite part was probably hearing the speakers, hearing how impactful that their investment into our community has paid a difference for us. I think my favorite part was listening to well, well, the honorees, obviously, listening to all the great things they've done, and reminded to me that I need to do more. Yeah. You know, that we all need to do more. And yeah. that, you know, this shouldn't be the anomaly when they do the things they do because if we're all in this together, we can make such a bigger difference. Well, honestly, the 94-year-old, I think George Sally, I mean, coming through that age and continuing the, the work, it gives me hope to, for us to keep moving, keep pushing, keep marching. So let's continue to invest. My hope for the future of New Jersey as it relates to social justice is that every person, every resident, every visitor, every individual who lives, works, or even travels through New Jersey has an overwhelming sense of inclusion and justice. That we can actualize it, that we can move the needle forward, that we can see some gains that will be significant and impactful, and that we can reverse some of the damage that has been done in the last couple of years in regards to the social justice um, retractions that the history is recording that we're in this, at this moment. Reparations. That's what we're here for, right, as we're talking about, you know, so looking forward to see a lot of the progressive movement that this organization is doing. Looking forward to seeing where we're going to go. Well, I hope that we'll continue this march towards the investing in democracy and advocacy and in the work that the, the Institute does so that we, we make justice a reality for all, a lived reality for all in New Jersey and nationally as well. My hope for the future for social justice in the next year is really that we hold true to the theme of tonight's event, which is invest, and invest boldly and audaciously and innovatively and collaboratively. Uh, another one of the awardees mentioned tonight, more equity in education. I think that's important, you know, especially in urban areas. Yes. You know, our kids, education is the pathway to success. And so we definitely need some, some improvements um, in that area. So there's a lot to be done, uh, yes. and it's not gonna happen overnight. Yeah. But my hope is that next year, this time, we have something to say about something being accomplished that will yet be accomplished as of today. Continue prosperity, growth, um, and collaboration with other anchor institutions in the city of Newark and beyond. All right, I'm excited about the Reparations Council. Uh, I hope to collaborate between the Institute and Harry Tubman Museum and I'm so proud of all of the work that the Institute's doing. Um, my hope is that they continue to do what they're doing, um, to be steadfast about equity for people in Newark and the greater state, and really just continue to be encouraged and inspire us to continue to do the work as well. Invest community, invest in us, reparations, reparations, reparations. <laughs>